Hello, my name is Professor G. R. Sina. Today we are going to discuss about thermal runaway and thermal stability and the condition to avoid thermal stability also. As we know that the thermal runaway is an important process that occurs in any bipolar junction transistor. Thermal runaway. That is something which is running away with the help of with the effect of temperature. We will understand what exactly is the thermal runaway in this lecture. As we know that collector current IC is beta IB plus beta plus 1 into ICBO. ICBO is also expressed as ICGO because B is always written because there are two junctions in a BJT. One is collector based junction, second is emitter based junction. And this is exactly the same reverse situation current that, that is there in P and junction diode. I02 is equal to IJ1 to the power T2 minus T1 divided by 10 is the exact expression for the reverse situation current at temperature T2 in the P and junction diode. I02 is the value of I0 at temperature T2. I01 is the value of I0 at temperature T1 in P and junction diode. And there is a very important theory in P and junction diode. And what is that theory? Let us consider T2 is equal to T1 plus 10. It becomes I02 becomes 2 times of I01. And the conclusion is for every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature, current becomes double. See, this is how the reverse situation current changes with the change in temperature. And the same effect of temperature will be there in this current. So, we can understand that when temperature increases, the important thing is when temperature increases, ICB0 will increase. I can write IC0 increases. When IC0 increases, IC will increase. Now, when this IC increases, that is collector current. As we know that in the collector, collector region, collector current flows. And whenever collector current increases, the power dissipation will definitely it will always increase. And once power dissipation increases, that will further increase the junction temperature. And whenever junction temperature increases, and whenever junction temperature increases, it will again increase IC0. So let us try to understand. Temperature increases, IC0 increases, IC0 increases, again IC increases, IC increases, power dissipation increases, power dissipation increases, junction temperature further increases, and whenever junction temperature again increases, it will again increase the collector current IC. So what is the conclusion? Just collector current is running away. Collector current is simply increasing with the increase in temperature and therefore we call this process as thermal runaway. And as we know that for the proper biasing and stability of the transistor, collector current should be of certain limited and proper value. And therefore that always requires to be avoided. This always needs to be avoided in any region. And against thermal runaway, if we have certain condition and that condition is satisfied, that would be called as thermal stability. And what is the important condition for thermal stability? Delta P divided by delta T should be less than 1 upon theta. Now there is new term. What is this theta? Theta is thermal resistance. And how do we define this thermal resistance? As we know that all the manufacturer specifies the devices at certain temperature which we call as constant temperature, somewhere it is room temperature that is basically called as ambient temperature and whatever it, whatever is the temperature at which the device is working that is always junction temperature and this is the change in temperature that is Tj minus Ta and whenever there is change in temperature more and more change in temperature the power dissipation increases and that proportionality sign is removed and we substitute it by theta and theta is called as thermal resistance its dimension will be degree centigrade what will be theta degree centigrade per watt this will be unit of theta thermal resistance. So this is the condition. What is the condition? To avoid thermal runaway, del P upon del T should be less than 1 upon theta. Now the important thing is, this is theoretical condition. This is as per theory. Now let us apply this theoretical concept in a practical application, in a practical circuit. This is a very simple practical circuit of BJT, where there is supply, there is a collector resistance RC, there is a collector current IC. And we know that thermal runaway is the extreme condition where the collector current is very very high. And what I have done therefore, IB is negligible. IB is very very small in comparison with IC. So the total current which is flowing through the circuit is IC. So we can write VCE. What is VCE? VC is the voltage here. That is a cross transistor. And that is VCC minus this drop, IC into RC. So what is the power across the transistor? VCE into IC. And that is VCC IC minus I square C into RC. Now let us try to get the practical condition. Let us come back to del P by del T. And del P by del T can be written as del P by del IC to del IC upon del T. And del P by del IC can be very easily computed from here. 
VCC minus two ICRC. Let us differentiate by, uh, with the let us apply partial derivative. Then P by del IC will be VCC minus two IC into RC. See that VCC minus two ICRC into del IC by del IC should be less than one upon theta. That is less than one upon theta. Now let us think about these two important things. What is the first thing? Del IC upon del T. We know that in any transistor, if temperature decreases, collector current decreases. If temperature increases, collector current increases. So therefore, delta IC upon delta T should always be will will always be a positive quantity in either cases. In all the cases, this will be always positive. And what is theta? Theta will be also always a positive quantity. So what about this VCC minus YC RC? To make this inequality, this is not equation because there is a symbol less than. To make this inequality permanently valid, to make this inequality permanently correct, VCC minus two IC RC must be less than zero. If I make it positive for all the values of this and this, this is not going to be valid. Means the condition may fail. But as far as uh, any value of negative, that is any negative value of this factor VCC minus two IC into RC. This will be permanently valid. For example, if I consider theta as zero point zero one, if I take del I C divided by del T, del T as one. For example, so what is this? Zero point zero one is one point zero point zero one is hundred, and del I C upon del T. Let us take ten. Suppose this is ten, and this is this is suppose three. So ten into three is thirty. Thirty is less than hundred. Okay, but there is another possibility that if this value is 0.1. This is 10. This is 10, and this is 3. And 30 is not less than 10. So what is the ultimate possibility? The ultimate possibility is let us make it negative. And what is the negative value? So the important condition to avoid thermal runaway is that is for thermal stability, VCC minus 2 IC into RC must be less than zero. And this can be written as IC is greater than VCC upon 2 RC. This is most important finding. And what is this most important finding? Is why this is very important conclusion because we have studied in the in the uh, basic concept of transistor that is load line concept of transistor. Q point. We study Q point. Q. What is Q point? The Q point is normally generally middle of the load line. There the value of I C is V C C upon 2 into R C. And what is that concept? Load line concept. Generally, Q point for the proper and satisfactory operation of BJT, Q point is expected to lie at the middle of load line. But this is something else. What does it tell? It says that IC should be IC should be greater than VCC upon 2 RC. But the Q point theory, load line theory says that IC must exactly be equal to VCC divided by 2 RC. I think uh, both the conditions are correct at their own places. This is a generalized theory for load line concept for the proper and satisfactory operation of BJT. IC is expected to be at the middle of load line. That is, Q point is expected to be at the middle of load line. But at the same time, what do we want? Uh, along with satisfactory and proper operation of BJT, we want to avoid thermal runaway also. So let us combine the two conditions, and what we will say: the, uh, the thermal runaway can be avoided. That is, to avoid thermal runaway, collector current. Must be a collector current shall be slightly above, slightly above the middle of the load line. Slightly, it must not be much much higher. It should be slightly higher uh, than VCC divided by two RC. The conclusion is the Q point must lie at the middle of load line for the proper operation. But in order to avoid thermal runaway, Q point should be slightly above the middle middle of the load line. So let us summarize today's lecture. This lecture. Thermal runaway. Thermal runaway is the process in which collector current abruptly changes with the change in temperature, and that uh, requires to be avoided in any BJT. In order to avoid thermal runaway, this is the condition that is collector current must be greater than VCC divided by 2 RC. Actually, this is the uh, practical condition that is of BJT, but theoretical condition from where it has been derived is delta P upon delta T that is less than one upon theta, but theta is thermal resistance. And in order to avoid the thermal runaway, del P upon del T should be less than one upon theta. And uh, applying this uh, theoretical condition to the BJT practical circuit, the the condition comes as IC is greater than VCC divided by two RC. So this is all about thermal runaway, thermal stability, and the condition to avoid thermal runaway. Because once we say in the BJT. 
that is thermal runaway is is to be avoided. It means we are expecting thermal instability in the BJT. That is bipolar junction transistor.